You know, I remember one of my mother's favorite stories was about the night I was born, and it's all about football. Evidently, my mother, great with child, went in, and there was my big brother and my father on the couch watching football. And my mother said, it's time. To which the story goes, my father looked up and said, can we wait till halftime? To which my mother said, no, we cannot. And then during my childhood, I spent most of it trying to get my father's attention, doing everything I could to distract him from the TV screen, watching football. And during my teen years, I once actually was so bad at the game that I made a touchdown for the opposite team. So the fact that for the last four months I have been doing nothing but talk about Super Bowl 50 has surprised me, to be sure. For the last few months I've been working with the San Francisco Bay Area Super Bowl Committee, and I have to tell you, I was proud to do it, because for the last two years, the Bay Area Super Bowl 50 Committee, an all-volunteer group, has been working to bring home the bacon for the Bay Area, and the nine Bay Area counties have benefited. Nonprofits working with young people have gotten over $13 million. So that makes the Bay Area Super Bowl 50 Committee the most giving and philanthropic Super Bowl in history. But you know also Super Bowl 50 over the last few months has raised a lot of issues. People on the left and people on the right have begun to ask, was it worth it? You know, Winston Churchill once said that any young person who isn't liberal has no heart, and any old person who isn't conservative has no brain. Well, I'm here to come out tonight, not as a conservative, not as a liberal, but as a moderate. The great good Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, in all things moderation. And all the problems we've seen magnified by the Super Bowl, traffic and homelessness and all kinds of things weren't created by football, but football has brought them to our attention. And I'm here to tell you that there is a little good in everybody. Not all protesters are saints, and not all policemen and bureaucrats are sinners. Frankly, I'm here to tell you that I think solutions are found in the middle. So coming out as a moderate tonight, I'm here to tell you that everything that was magnified by Super Bowl will be here tomorrow. But if all the people yelling and screaming about how bad our politicians are would actually get together with some of those bureaucrats who are really good people, I think in the middle they would find a solution, or at least a place to talk. I'm David Perry.